Hi, I'm Jen. Welcome to the channel. Here's a great way to impress your special someone for Valentine's Day. Make them a personalised edible fruit bouquet. It's so easy and kids love making it with you. First things first, get a bottom heavy bowl and fill it up with some polystyrene. You can jazz it up by cutting it into shapes and then covering it with tissue paper. Add some shredded tissue paper if you need to fill it up. Once it looks good, pop a few skewers into the polystyrene so you get an estimate of how the bouquet is going to look like. Now it's time to start shaping your fruit. You've probably guessed what I'm about to say, but you can't make a bouquet without strawberry roses. You should be a dab hand at making them now. So fill up your skewer with small fruits like blueberries, grapes, raspberries, and then put your strawberry rose on top. Don't take the stems off the strawberries though, as it creates a more flowery effect. You can also make some apple petals by slicing your apples and then dipping them in lemon juice to stop them from browning. Put your small fruits again on your skewer and then work your apple slices around it. Then add a fruit in the middle to be the pistol of your flower. Where does the pollen go? <laughs> I'm definitely watching Grease 2 later. I've got that song stuck in my head now. <laughs> Another great idea is to cut up a pineapple into slices and then get some shape cutters. Cut the shape into the middle of the pineapple so the core sticks into the top of the skewer more securely. You could even create chocolate strawberries by dipping your strawberries into your chocolate and then make them more fancy looking with some edible icing. I tried to make it with some bananas but it didn't work. It got a bit messy so I'll need to practice more. I found out that if you add enough food colouring to your white chocolate, it actually turns into an edible putty. The only problem is it dries out quickly. But if you add a little golden syrup into it though, it stays softer for longer. If you want, you can create petals and then go around your strawberries. Start up at the top and work your way around and down to create a flower effect. Watch out as this is going to create a top heavy skewer, so make sure it goes in the centre of your bouquet. Now it's time to add it all together. Start from the middle and work your way around. Take your time and get the bouquet exactly how you want it. There you have it. Now all you need is to create your night in. I made this with a lovely throw and our favourite cheeses and wine to complement the fruit bouquet. Most of the products I already had in the house. I got the cheese board from Amazon and even got myself a smaller cheese board because you know, who doesn't like a cheese and wine night? Now, the cheese I got was from my dad's favourite cheese company. Snowdonia cheese. My dad, right up to his passing, near enough lived on the Ruby Mist cheese. He'd get me to buy the two kilogram size and was never disappointed. The customer service is phenomenal and it's by far the best service I've ever had. The cheese always comes fast with an outstanding delivery. And if there's anything wrong, you just pop a wee friendly email explaining the situation and the customer service team gets right on it. One time my dad received the wrong order and instead of his 2 kilogram ruby mist, he got a box filled with 9 different 200 kilogram cheeses. We thought it was maybe a human error of someone putting the wrong address on the wrong box, so my dad got me to email them and request for his original order to be sent out, and then we would give back the box we received, because, you know, that's someone else's box. The customer service team got back to me like lightning. They apologised for the error, and they said that they'll send the correct order pronto, and when I asked about the cheese we got an error, they said to keep it as a sorry for the inconvenience. As you can imagine, Dad was chuffed to bits. If Dad was a Disney character, he'd be this guy. <laughs> Dad loved the new cheesy so much that for Christmas, he got me to buy some more for his best friend. It turned out to be his last Christmas. So this video is dedicated to my dad, and I hope you all have a lovely Valentine's Day with the people in your life that are most precious to you. Let me know what Valentine's Day was most memorable for you, and I'll see you down in the comments. Bye! Where does the pollen go?